Hey, ladies and gentlemen, for me, this is going to be the show stealer myself. It's going to be the specials Mark Sloan and Zach Sabre Jr. These two, reasonably similar style. Um, Sabre, though, is the local boy. Could that help him? Listening to that, I don't think the crowd's particularly on his side. He's not come out there and endeared himself to them so far. Fair enough. I have to admit, though, before we start, I think Mark Sloan's ring attire is fantastic. I, I do like his tights. That's all I'm going to say before anyone gets the wrong impression about him. Well, it's got the IPW logo. He's obviously trying to get himself noticed by the manager. True, true. All right. Take him down. Oh, is it a cover also? Oh, round again. One. Series of one counts. Just trying to feel each other out there. The thing with Mark Sloan is I know that he likes his grappling, but so does Sabre. Yep, both of them very, very comfortable with ground wrestling, working on the mat, lots of submission moves, lots of wearing each other down. Lots of kicks as well. I noticed that Sabre was going for one just earlier. Very amateurish moves. Down again, be nice. Ooh, oh. Again, these guys are feeling each other out, showing who's better than the other. Bear in mind, Sabre is the younger of the two, in case you couldn't already tell. Yep, Zack Sabre Jr., quite rightly, is very much younger than Mark Sloan. Mark's been a veteran of the British scene. He's been around for a long while, obviously previously being with the FWA. And uh, was head trainer of the FWA Academy. Now the FWA Academy's closed. He's working his way around with different British promotions, and IPW UK seems to be the place he wants to make his home. Very true crowd enjoyed that. <laughs> oh! Nice armbar. Almost the start of a Fujiwara. Gets the ropes. Sloan instantly going for the ropes there, showing his experience in the ring, showing just how aware presence, of he is. Yeah. This, it's got, again, Mark Sloan, Mark Sloan is trying to show the younger guys, you need to show respect. Much like Paul Robinson. The man we saw in the last match, obviously Mark Sloan and Paul Robinson in recent Orpington shows, have been having a little bit of to and fro with each other. Mark teaching Paul a little bit of a lesson uh, in Orpington just a month or two back. So he should be. Put his stomach there. Again, nice. Well, the Americans sometimes call it the arm ringer. Rolls through. And still working that arm, the left arm. Ooh. He's trying to reach for the ropes. Nice. Oh, he's got the ropes again. Zach seems to be very intent on going after that left arm of Mark Sloan here. It's the fourth or fifth move he's already put on it. Do you think he's noticed a weakness there with that arm? Very true. I mean, obviously, when, when you're wrestling, obviously, you get, you're going to need your arms. Makes sense. You're going you're gonna to be able to lift someone. If you can work on that body part, you're not going to be able to lift anyone. Mark Sloan might not be able to lift him up for his uh, tomorrow driver. That could be the idea. He could be working on that arm. Oh, to the back of the head there. Oh, that might be a bit low. 
Oh. Mark Sloan laying into Sable with a succession of kicks here. They look quite painful. I can feel it here. Oh, oh. oh Zack Sable Jr. certainly able to give one back though, but he's straight Ooh. back onto that left arm. It's a nice version of the octopus there, but it takes him down. Oh, it's a pin. And, oh, it's a two count there, but it takes him over again. Got the legs cross effect. Oh, he's got the ropes. Bet Zack wishes it was a bigger ring. Still working on that left arm. Oh, that's just see. This is the problem with the younger guys at the moment. They just think they they just think they're better than everyone else. I don't think it's a matter of they're better. I think it's a matter of they're the future, and they know that. And if they know that they work hard, and they know that they can take British wrestling to a height it's never been at before. You still got to show respect for the for the generation before you. They're the people that got you to where you are now. Without Mark Stone, we wouldn't have a new generation of wrestlers. The FWA Academy was a brilliant thing for British wrestling. Just look at the people that came through the FWA Academy. But what you have to remember is that the FWA Academy doesn't exist anymore. Mark Sloan is not the head trainer for British wrestling anymore, which was pretty much what he was back in those days. But he's still trying to teach those young guys a lesson. He's not paid to do that anymore. Maybe he should put his attention elsewhere. Messed up his hair there. Oh! Right to the shoulder. Actually, that was the left shoulder still working on that arm. Nice northern lights. Rolls through. Oh, into that arm bar again! Mark Stein not going to let him have it. Nice two count. Ooh. Referee Andy Quilden really having to keep a close eye on what's happening here because there's quick one counts in succession. Now getting behind Mark Stein now. Almost looked like he lost his footing, but uh, apparently the younger guys know how to do everything. And again, works on that arm. Okay, okay, I'll admit, okay, that is a smart idea. The brains of Zack Sabre Jr. in this match so far have been fantastic. He's just shown Mark Sloan that if he's not the finished product yet, he's certainly on the way there. I didn't the, know Mark Sloan's leg could bend in that direction. I didn't know anyone's leg could bend in that direction, Alex. Been crowd appreciating this great match. Ooh, ooh, and there's a oh, it's a two. So who do you think's gonna go? Who, who do you think's gonna win this one then? Well. The thing to remember is that Zack Sabre Jr. has probably got a lot more riding on this. Mark Sloan's only in it because he loves wrestling, whereas Zack Sabre Jr., he's oh. looking for a spot on the regular Orpington uh, IPW shows. He's appeared at Sittingbourne now. He's also appeared on a couple of Portsmouth shows, but he'd love to get onto the IPW main roster in Sittingbourne. If he can win this match against Mark Sloan tonight, one of the biggest veterans in the British industry today, that would really put his name on the map and show oh. IPW you know, management who deserves that two, two and no! Just got out, just in the nick of time. Again, Zack Sabre, very annoyed at the referee there. He said it should have been a quick count. Not many people kick out of the Sabre driver, and Zack's used to getting the three count after that manoeuvre, and I think he's a bit annoyed that he didn't, really. And he blames the referee. That's been a favourite move of his in, obviously, the local area around Sittingbourne. Is he going for it again? Note reversal. Waste luck. Go around. Interesting idea. Back elbows. Oh, God, nice sit out. Didn't go for the cover, though. Is that a mistake by Mark Sloan? No, I think he's got a bit, he's got bigger ideas. Oh, ho, ho. of course he had bigger ideas. A nice double stomp to the chest. That's just taking it right back to basics there. There's nothing flashy or technical about that. Oh, oh he's trying to get him up. Couldn't quite do it. Nice. He's really struggling nice. to get him up. Could that? Oh, oh tomorrow, driver. See what? It, maybe he didn't get it quite on nice enough. But there's a two and the three. Mark Sloan has won. Thanks, John. That was a. I I love that match. That was. A, That's really going to set Zach back a little while in his efforts to get onto the Orpington main IPW. Well. Is that just a guy from the... Whoa. No, no that's Devil Man. He's no. another local guy from around this area. He works and trains with Zack Sabre Jr. He, he doesn't look nice. I that's think Zack may have had him lying in wait, knowing that if Mark oh. Sloan were to pick up the ring, he could come and get revenge for him straight away. Yes. 
Looks like he's helping. Yeah, Zach he's up. helping Zach up to his feet oh, here. I'm not just, surprised. That's just dirty tactics in Sittingbourne. And oh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe Devilman's got his own agenda, which you or I oh. don't know about. Oh, look at the head positioning. Your neck is never meant to go in that direction. Look at he's kicking slow. What is what is this? Why? There's, is it just... there's not words for it, is there? I mean, we've had a great technical match with a clear winner, and then Devil Man comes out and just spoils it. Mm. Now that's just ruined a fantastic matchup here at IPW Sittingbourne Bayview. I don't think this will be the last we see of Devil Man.